Hi again, and welcome to another uh, a workout with me, Con Metropolis from uh, Konicky TV. Okay, um, today I'll be doing uh, a lower body dumbbell uh, workout. So I'm just going to use basic uh, dumbbells just to do a lower body uh, workout. So it doesn't matter what sort of equipment you have, everyone's got a set of dumbbells, or they're easy to get, or they're cheap to get. Okay, so um, I also do body weight exercises, so you don't really need weights, but for the sake of those that have dumbbells and barbells, etc., if you go to my website, you'll see I have our workouts which cover all that form of um, gear that you can use in order to get a fantastic uh, workout. So today I'll just use a simple set of dumbbells and I'll go through a couple of exercises. I'll do a set uh, of exercises for your squat, for, for your sorry, for your quads, and they'll be called squats. Um, and I'll be doing something for your hamstrings um, and also something for your calves. So I'll do three basic exercises. So um, I'll be working on a reverse pyramid structure, which means I'll be doing 12 reps, then 10, then 8, then 6, then 12 again. Each time I go to a different set, I'll be uh, increasing the weight. So 12 is uh, a lighter weight, 10 is heavier than 12, but less reps. 8 again is a little bit heavier, 6 is, is the heaviest that you'll do. And then when I do my 12 reps again, after the 6, I drop the weight back to what I did for 8. So um, I'm going to demonstrate each exercise so you get an idea of it. Okay. Okay. I'll put the side on. This exercise is called um, a straight legged uh, deadlift. Even though it's straight, what it means is your knees just slightly bent, but the, the joints don't change afterwards, okay? So you, you maintain a stiff leg in a slightly bent position, and also we keep our back flat. And this is how it looks. Okay, got both legs on, and here we go. So it's all the way to the top and hold, and then slowly depress down, just popping just shy of the bottom. Good. Okay, so when I do abs, it's good to do it from both sides. You want to do upper abs and also lower abs. So, so just keep it simple. When you bring your body towards your legs, you're doing upper abs. And when, when you bring your legs towards your body, you're doing lower abs. So what we're going to do, we're going to do both in one go. So it looks like this, okay? 
hands are on the thighs, and I'm trying to, I'm just going to try and sit up until my wrist is sitting above my knee. So it looks like this. The closer your feet are to you, the harder it is. So if this is too hard for you, just simply push your feet further out like I'm doing now. And you find it's a lot easier. So that's how you can do this at home and control the intensity. So you're getting the numbers done. As you get stronger, you can pull the feet in. Okay, so I'm almost there. One more. Okay, now we'll do lower abs. So lower abs, as we said, we bring our legs to us. So we're going to put our hands underneath our bum. Extend our feet out, look up slightly and elevate the legs. And just stop just short of the ground. Unlike the reverse pyramid structure that we had with our, all our other exercises, this one is just sets of 12 reps. So what we're going to do is try and do this three times back to back. So what that means is we, we we slide our hands up our thighs till we get to our knees for 12 and then we do 12 leg raises like I'm doing now and then straight after that we're going to go straight back into the sit ups like before and again we're going to try and get 12 so I'll just show you what that looks like okay legs down and the objective now is to go straight into it so punch and up Assuming you've done that, you then put your hands under again and do leg raises for 12. And once you've finished all that, you repeat. Okay, so that's the end of the uh, workout. Um, as you saw, it's, it's the same uh, setup as the reverse pyramid structure of my upper body workout. So if you haven't done that, that pop uh, yeah, probably be a good time to actually go and do that one as well. If you're going to do these sorts of uh, workouts, each day you want to alternate between upper and lower body. So for example, you could do upper on, on Monday, Wednesday and Friday and lower on Tuesday, Thursday and, uh, and uh, Saturday. The routines will, it takes about five minutes of body part. So if you're doing the lower body like we did today, we did uh, the quads, the hamstrings, the calves and then the abs, it will take you know five minutes each, that's 20 minutes in total. And upper body, there were five exercises, which would take about 25 minutes. Um, so I, I really hope you've um, enjoyed the workout. And um, I hope to see you again next week uh, when I do the next one. Uh, just behind me on the wall here, I've got some pictures. This is a picture of, uh, of Nikki when she did her transformation um, a long, long time ago. So here's something you'll be able to see of what's possible in less than a three-month uh, period. So I'll just take the camera off and, and let you have a look at that. Okay, as you can see on the photo on the left, that's Nikki before she started, and on the photo on the right, that's just under three, uh, three months, just under 12 weeks. There's, a, there's been a huge change. If we go down a little bit further, you'll actually see a much more detailed look. The back of the body is a really good way to judge your progress. As you can see, Nikki's posture has totally changed. Okay, so that's an example of what you can achieve in about 12 weeks. Shortly you'll be seeing uh, Nikki do something special uh, and it should begin in June of this year. So hopefully you'd be able to tag along with that. Uh, so that those of you out there who are considering starting exercise or trying to make a lifestyle change, believe me, June 2010 is the month to do it. I'm Comatropolis. I enjoyed uh, doing this uh, workout for you today. Uh, go to our, our website www.conicitv.com. It's on the on the bottom of your screen now. Go to the blog for this uh, exercise uh, um, program that I've done for you today. Read the details and describe everything that you need to know in order to be able to do it. Um, leave us a comment. Let us know uh, about how you went. And um, I'll see you again next week. All the best. Bye bye.